Good day, my name is Hinti Moritz from Integrity IT Solutions and I'm going to show you how to import your FNB bank statement into Admin Online. First of all, you need to download your FNB statement as a CSV file from the internet banking website. I assume you've done that successfully. Once it's saved as a CSV file, just go to double click on it and very importantly, you need to open it in this format in columns already. If it's not in a column format open, it means your PC setting is not correct. You should watch the video on how to set your PC delimiter from a semicolon to a comma. So, I assume you've done that and it will open like this. So the first step in fixing your bank statement for import is you need to delete the top columns, the top rows, not columns, the rows above the date, amount, balance, description row. So just highlight them, right click on the side and say delete. And there you would see. Um, then what you can do is you can remove records that you do not want to import. For example, let's remove this bottom one. Highlight it, right click and press delete. And lastly, but very important, you need to edit each heading uh, name. So let's click on the heading amount. Then go to the amount uh, edit box and you will see if you use your arrow keys there is a space before amount and you need to delete that space so there you can see we've deleted the space and hit enter then click on balance and let's go to balance text box and we use a backspace to delete that space Again, click on description, go to the description text box, hit the backspace to delete that space. So once you've done that, it means your headings are fine, your content is fine, and save your CSV file. When saving, just accept the, the warning from Excel, that is okay. Now your CSV file is ready to be imported. So let's go to our admin online demo website it's called super swim and let's log in as the administrator then go to the finance bank recon option and click there you will see existing imported bank statements there we are going to import a new statement we're going to say import csv file Use the choose files button to go select your CSV file. So I selected that one and I go to select the FMB example CSV file and I use the upload button. And then you see it loaded all the specifics. Please note that it's not part of the system yet, it's only in screen. You must commit to make it part of the system. Please take a note of this empty description and we'll see now in a moment how that will be handled. So press the commit button and accept the records added pop up. Then just close the function and you will see you added those records and at the bottom is the record with the empty description is now given as a default name empty description. Um, so ideally you do want to fix this empty descriptions in your Excel file before importing, but the system can handle them. And you are now ready to allocate your bank statements. I hope this was helpful and uh, I hope you find this video of value. Thank you.